Hello everyone. Dr. Burke Caritas. In case of premature ejaculation, we continue with behavioral therapy. Behavioral treatments. If the person does not have a psychological disorder, if there is no psychiatric disease, the success rate of this treatment is close to 100%. Now, of course, studies have observed men with premature ejaculation when they have sexual intercourse in a laboratory environment. All of the men who ejaculate prematurely during the observation contract their bodies a lot during intercourse. They are either holding their breath or breathing very quickly. They bore themselves. Our heartbeats are very high. Here they are quite excited. Now I'm going to talk about two terms here. One is sexual excitement and one is physical excitement. We will have high sexual excitement during intercourse. In other words, it is very normal to have a very high sexual desire for our spouse or partner, but our physical excitement, that is, our heart rate, breathing, muscles, during or before intercourse, will also be low. In short, our muscles will be loose, our breathing will be regular, and therefore our heart rhythm will not be very fast. Generally, it has been determined that physical excitement is very high in patients with premature ejaculation. Of course, with behavioral therapy, we actually teach people these things. The first thing we teach is mastering the muscles of love. We have a muscle group, especially in the lower part of the penis, which are the muscles that allow us to ejaculate. When we start intercourse, these muscles gradually contract rhythmically. At the moment of complete emptying, these muscles contract very quickly and we empty. If we control these muscles, we can prevent them from contracting, keep them loose and delay our ejaculation. Another condition is breath control. If we hold our breath too much or breathe too fast during intercourse, then our brain perceives this. Are we drowning? That is, do we make love? Do we suffocate? If he decides that we are drowning, then adrenaline is secreted a lot, and you know, when a lot of adrenaline is secreted, we do not know what we are doing in panic, we become numb, and the sexual equivalent of this is that we ejaculate without realizing it. Therefore, we also need to control our breathing. In fact, of course, sometimes some of my patients say that we have read and applied what you said on the internet, in the newspaper, etc., but it did not happen. If you apply them directly on your spouse or on your partner, of course, some problems will arise. As I said earlier in our conversation, this is a state of behavior, and how did we acquire this behavior? We also won masturbation. In the toilet, in the bathroom, I wanted to immediately, holding my breath quickly and without feeling pleasure. The goal was to, we will recover these behaviors by masturbation first. We will keep these muscles relaxed. We will control our breathing. We will do these things by masturbation first. After that, we will move on to the step of sexual intercourse. After these masturbation stages have passed through six to seven stages, we can move on to the stage of sexual intercourse. Is everyone succeeding in behavioral therapy now? Is it really 100%? Yes, those who are willing to say that I have premature ejaculation and I accept it are usually successful in this treatment. Another important issue is the reception of the spouse event. I attach great importance to this. Because if the spouses support us, the treatment takes place very quickly in premature ejaculation studies. And of course, it doesn't make much sense to hide it from the spouse because we do a lot of masturbation practice. So here I say, close your bedroom door and masturbate. It's really troublesome to do this without the spouse knowing. Then the bathroom is entered into the toilet. Our old habits are coming back and it's not happening. That's why it's so important to get spousal approval. Also, when spouses really make an effort for relationships, men are both happy and much more helpful than you think. Can we do this treatment for those who do not have a partner? Yes, it can, but it only comes to a certain stage. Later, when he becomes a partner, he can continue to other stages. How long does the period last? One week or two weeks? It depends a bit on the person. As I said, if the person is very willing, if he wants to be a wife, if he can control himself, if he does not have some psychiatric disorders, my shortest patient learned this in two weeks and his life continued in this way. 
but this can take up to a year, of course. The duration is technically determined by the patients. If there is erectile dysfunction, that is, if there is both erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation, erectile dysfunction should be treated first. But if there is a slight erectile dysfunction, then both can be treated at the same time with premature ejaculation. We can't use the medicines. I said it in the previous video. I don't use medicines alone. I use it in combination with behavioral therapy in some patients. I don't use it in some patients. After a while, the patients we start to use say that they should stop using this medicine. I continue to use it in some patients. In our next video, I will explain how to apply creams for premature ejaculation as applications on a model. Thank you.